So this is a reaction ball and they're made to move really unpredictably through the air and also when bouncing on the ground. And I have an idea that I think could be really, really interesting. Let me explain. This is my friend and pro goalkeeper, Connor O'Keefe. Now I thought it would be really funny to organize the film with him and switch a normal football out for one of these. And hopefully he'd let in some howlers and make him question his ability in goal. Except this video did not go entirely to plan. Also, after using this wobbly football, there's loads of other stuff we're gonna do with Khan. Like stick him in goal with 1930s gloves on, use a water-filled football, and see if he can save shots in two 11-a-side goals. But back to the prank. Right, so the ball's arrived, and now I need to test it out to make sure it does move weird, but also not weird enough where it's so obvious. So, yeah, let's test it out a bit. Right, so I'm just gonna drop the ball on the floor, see what happens. does not bounce up straight. It will just bounce off in a weird direction a lot of the time. Okay, that's good. Right, so this is good because this ball obviously moves and it's definitely not like a normal football at all, but hopefully it's not enough to make Con instantly realize that it's not a normal football. So I just need to make sure he doesn't inspect it for too long. Then we should be okay. Look at it just move on its own. When it's in your hands, it doesn't feel too dissimilar to a normal football, so yeah, we should be right on that front. So the ball had been tested and it was perfect for what I had in mind. I also saw that this ball said the word react on it, so I covered it up with tape in case he got suspicious and started to inspect it. Colin's just warming up. We're just having a few shots of the ball. It's just, it is a weird ball. When you hit this thing on the floor, that's when it really gets moving. All right, let's see, I'm trying to be quiet, but yeah, this should be fun. The next step of the plan was to make sure Connor knew we were gonna start off with some normal, regular shots. So I did this intro to the video. Right, so I'm back here with Connor O'Keefe, and today's video, we've got a load of cool stuff going on. First off though, we need a baseline by taking some normal shots with some normal footballs. Let's go. Let's go. I threw him the Premier League ball so we could warm up with that. So they've absolutely stitched me up, putting the sun directly in front of me. Little did he know at this point we did more than just stitch him up with the sun. I switched the balls back and then it was time for the first shot. Yeah. What was that? That's heavy that ball. I thought it was heavy. As he threw the ball back here, you can see it moving like crazy. Luckily, he turned away. Between the shots with the wobbly ball, I also had shots with a normal Prem ball, just so he wouldn't suspect anything. Is that small? What, is it small? It looks small. Is it a four? Is it a five? You can see after two shots already, he was not liking this ball. That's definitely size five. Yeah, the Prem one's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, the third one's all right. There we go. Whoa. 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 Look at the way he's looking at the ball. He does not like it one bit. That's it. Now this is a prime example of exactly what I thought would happen with this prank. But it was this next shot where it all went wrong. Up to this point, Connor really didn't like the ball, but he didn't realize what was going on. I feel so bad for this. 10 and you have 10. Yeah, sure, mate. Oh! oh. You all right? Oh! You all right? Got me right in the chin. This is exactly what I did not want to happen. Now at this point, I genuinely felt so bad. I didn't consider that this actually could be quite dangerous because of how heavy the ball is. And I wasn't sure how I was gonna break the news to him that it was all a joke. I want to see if you I'm so sorry. I feel really bad. Luckily, he took it very well. 
But after all, he is a keeper and he's used to getting smashed about a bit. I said to you, didn't I? I was like, yeah, I was literally, weird. I was just going, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was just like, I was like, it's heavy and it's small. It's, oh my God. Right, mate, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I wondered why you all went silent. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, it's not that bad, but yeah, you knew you were plotting on trying to kill yeah. me with some rock solid bouncy ball. <laughs> when you knew what it was, did that make it a lot easier? Yeah, it was better. You, you could, could just you could wait a little bit more. A bit like other balls that move a lot. You can be a bit deeper in the goal, you can react a bit later rather than committing to it and getting it in the chip. <laughs> I, I'm not a fan. That can But I, at the same time I was looking at you and we were just like, do we tell him? <laughs> We then decided to have a few more shots with the ball after he knew what it was. I feel so bad, but he took it well, so what a legend. Now we're gonna move on for the rest of the video. Next up, we're gonna be having 20 shots with the 1930s gloves, 20 shots with a water-filled football, Connor's gonna have 20 shots with me in goal, and finally 20 shots in two 11-a-side goals. And we're gonna compare the scores and see how much difference each variable makes. First off, to get a baseline, 20 shots with normal ball and normal gloves. Right. Right, next up in this crazy goalkeeper video, we've got the 1930s gloves. What's the grip like? It looks slippy. It is slippy. It's not super slippy because you've got the little rubber bits, but it's a long way from modern latex, that's for sure. I'm not sure why I've signed up to this. Yeah. Oh, right finish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather this combo in my proper gloves than that other ball. Right. Okay. One goal. Pretty good. In the old school gloves, we scored one goal, the same as the baseline test. But the main difference was his ability to hold onto the ball. So in a game situation, you can imagine this could be a big problem. Right, next up, we've got the water-filled football. This thing could be crazier than the React ball. Oh my way! Oh, 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 my way. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it did, so it wasn't... I didn't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Oh, oh heavy! Oh, oh. 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 It's like sparring with Tyson Fury. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh! In theory, I guess it's like saving a medicine ball. Yeah. Oh, oh mate, a break, breaking wrists. Oh. 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 Just like, don't even touch it. Kill it dead. Oh, great save! I've never, I've never tried this before. <laughs> really? Yeah, and I won't do it again. The weight of it, like you said, it gives it just so much top spin, yeah. so you can try and clear it and it just drops straight away. And it is heavy. It's like playing with a medicine ball. It's like two, yeah. three kilos. Now, I'm going to give you a break from in goal. Thanks. I'm going in goal. Let's see what you can do outfield. This will be fun. Let's go. <laughs> Honestly, the power on some of these. So the final score on this test was four goals, but the one takeaway from this was his power. It was very impressive. Now, finally, we have the final test. One pro keeper in two 11-a-side goals. If we don't get at least 15, <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll put it wide twice in a row. Ah. 
Nobody's saving that. Oh. Nice. Oh, Alright, I think you'll be pleased to know the video's finally over. <laughs> done some weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs>